supports even when it goes off meta you're just like these are the guys that really like to go for it even though afro moon's been ma making his name as a, a, a playmaker throughout the years another blast cone might be cut off here who he's looking to make his way into the fight darshan trying to join as well x smithy gonna be brought down to one more hit oh my god the videos brings down the ass oh. gonna find one there's number two ryu's gonna be grabbing that one darshan exhausted and phoenix one is gonna be going three for zero that's three kills right at the start of the game six minutes in off of a roam from He's gonna come up on Xmithy, who doesn't have flash. He's too far forward. Cinder's gonna get here first, too. I think Xmithy is... Oh, Xmithy, what are you doing, man? Trying to make doomed. a beeline for that plant, but he's not gonna be finding a Meteos on a killing spree. All right, when I said at the start of the game that Xmithy might get more deaths. And this is gonna slowly snowball towards that bottom side, getting killed. Oh, Aphromu gonna be chain CC'd and just shot all to pieces. A little bit more damage. Focus Fire gonna be finding number one. Meteos pressing the go oh. button. Pedal to the metal. Arrow cashing in on that one, too. Gets himself barely away from the turret. Meteos makes this a 6-0 to zero game. I didn't know it was going to be that fast, but I was... He's like, oh no, I missed a couple of creeps. Too bad my jungler's got 3-0-2 score oh, lines. Look at this. He's going after the flashless AD carry. Oh, bad news. Bears. Ragnarok's going to be able to tear him down before Aphromoo can make it in there to drop the heels. Afro now in full retreat. Going to be getting himself out. But what? Engaging this one. Arrow flashes into the dragon pit. I don't know about that one, Cyrene. Current call opened up. Arrow trying to fight against Hoogie, but the exhaust is going to make it a very one-sided fight for now. Meteos looking to come in, clean some of these guys up, find some revenge if he can, but instead engages straight into his own death. Doesn't have Ragnarok. A little bit more damage will likely spell the end of him here as Xmithy comes right back into the fight, looking to find the damage onto Adrian. Ryu's not going to be grabbing anybody. Godless that's still ready. He's going to be channeled. Zig trying to make something happen here, but it's not going to be happening just yet. Ryu going to be taunted. Darshan's able to make the flash play. Smith, he's going to be grabbing that one. It's about to be four kills for CLG. And they're going to come up huge. Afromu dies to the turret. Four for one. Still a great choice. Zig gets to the party a little bit late, but he's still mopping these guys up. Oh, bucket at the ready. A little bit more damage will do it on to Xmithy as well. A triple kill for the big man. Oh, it looks so good for CLG. And then it looks so bad for them. Jungle here, Ryu has the ulti, and he might go for a flank. Meteos face checking for that brush. Xmithy still looking to take away the red, but it's Meteos who gets it. Gotta look out. He's gonna be sidestepping that stun, but the burst comes through anyway. Point, click, delete. Ryu gonna be grabbing himself number three. Yep, and they're gonna look towards that top turret. Zig had time to shove that top wave in. And so it's right up against that turret, and they're going to be able to pick it up right after. Territory. He's going to go after turret. Curtain call opened up, trying to stop Deliver this. To here line. comes that special delivery. Adrian going to be knocked around. Arrow barely getting himself away from the gin range. Darshan immediately melted. Xmithy going to be forced to flash away from the impending uh, ultimate. Phoenix 1 makes it a 1 for 0. And CLG, like we mentioned when we were talking about the head-to-head -head score, won that match in three games. On. Yeah, they did. They won that in three games. One of those games was back and forth. Yes, one of them was a throw by Phoenix One. It was a comeback, however you want to word it. Speaking of throwing, Smithy. Like Smithy caught out again. Tossed up into the air. They're going to give that one over to Arrow for free. 2-1 and 2 now on the Ash. The 5 versus 4 for the next 30 seconds. We'll rotate to the bottom one, too. Inhibitor turret is in the dirt. Inhibitor now the target. 21 minutes into the game. Phoenix One decided. Smithy yet again caught out, knocked down, blown up. Ryu grabbing the killing spree onto that one, and with the enemy jungler dead. Surprise. It's a great Drake, but when you're creating it up for a Baron, it's not the nope. best feeling in the world. Less Baron you know. secured to the side of Phoenix One. Darshan, Afro, and Stixay taking down this Drake. You have to think about or consider. Afro got hit up, and Ryu. Arrow onto Afro. X Smithy trying to be the front line. Ryu's already got the kill onto the Soraka, making a double onto the Rengar. Darshan, not really capable of doing a whole lot of anything. Teleports right into the stun. A triple kill for Phoenix One's mid laner. Who he gonna be chased down by that Nautilus ult? Six A gonna be going down next, most likely. That Olaf is just berserk running quadra. him down. A quadra kill for Ryu. Are we gonna see the big Penta? I'm not quite sure. There's Scumbag been two. who he hanging out in the fountain. Oh boy, they've dove a fountain before. P1 have they've dove a fountain time. before. That Penta timer work. is like 30 seconds long. Oh, can he kill Afro again? Afro's <laughs> alive. He might be able to find the Soraka. Nope. They're not going to give it to a man. Scumbag who he. Sonya's Hourglass popped by Ryu. The Nexus falls. And Phoenix won in not even 25 minutes. Takes game number one. 24 51 on the clock. Domination by Phoenix one. What a...
And Phoenix One, if they win this match, that's 3-0 and with Meteos so far. One of them against Cloud9, one of them against Meteos here. Xmithy's full HP and Meteos is below oh, half. Apple Two is going to be fighting a lot of damage onto him. Ignite taken by the CLG support. One v one Bard still looking to make more plays. There's your setup. The Binding going to be finding its mark. Xmithy looking for just a little oh. more damage, and he's got it with the end of the line. Xmithy cashing in for that second kill for CLG. Loves to roam towards mid. Pop is ulti. Sticks A though, has the Shen. Oh, can't get the Blast Cone. Adrian locked up. Taunt comes through, trying to get himself away, but it's not going to do anything. It's Smithy grabbing kill number three for his team. Yep, could be very low. P1 needs to be very mindful of exactly where they're at right here. The stun comes through. Darshan can oh. be chasing seed. A nice shock wave. A double kill for Darshan. Going to be losing his own life for it, but it's a two for two. Two for one. Good journey. Kuhi and Xmithy looking to make the moves if they can. Arrow stuck underneath the turret. What did I say about Jin being alone? You don't want him to be there, but Stixe, more than happy that he is, going to be grabbing that kill for himself. And here comes Meteos to the bottom side, looking for Darshan. He's got Flash still. Darshan might look to get himself away, but he does not have the tools. Zig going to be grabbing that kill. And the damage so it doesn't get pushed. Ryu eats the true Arrow. barrage. Arrow's going to be bound up. The damage is through, and Adrian's going to be taken down too, almost. Xmithy with one more auto attack makes it a double kill. Ryu looking to return the favor, finds some damage onto Afromu. Watch this. Finds the taunt onto Meteos. The binding's not going to be making any sort of a stun, but does it even need to? The damage continues. Meteos trying to cleanse those slows. It's not enough, and Darshan grabs that one. That's one of those times you go, did he have flash the whole time? Because down to about half HP. Phoenix One wants to stop this, but they got to be careful. The health bars are low. Ryu is going to be first at Adrian Two. Darshan looking to find even more on to Arrow. Walking himself out, trying to stay alive. Darshan going to be eating some Baron. damage. CLG's focus is split. They're able to find Baron Nasher, and now they turn back on to Phoenix One. Zig is the target, trying to find a way out of this one, but there's no way out today. Stixe grabbing the kill, and C trying to get himself away. Aframu coming up with the wall, using the Blast Plant. Oh. Magical Journey set up into a spot, so Darshan's able to lock these guys down. There comes your taunt for the kill. I don't think I've ever seen that one before, but Meteos now one hit from death. Adrian nearby to keep him alive, going to be channeling those heals, but CLG is looking good in game number two. Yeah, they make all the right moves there. They get the Baron, they force it when they know the Zig doesn't have teleport, and then the fight starts up. And look at that, they caught Ryu again! Ryu just deleted off the face of the world, inhibitor down in mid lane, and the CLG push continues. Yeah, they're going to push you. They have Baron. They're going to say, you did it in 2451. CLG, they're going to try to do better. We're going to beat you even faster. Darshan locked up underneath that Nexus turret, getting himself out of the aggro for oh, now. Oh, got him! Xmithy with a nice shot. Nexus turret number one is history. Sig's going to be joining it now. Meteos jumps in, but all for nothing. Darshan very, very close to grabbing the kill on that one. Stixe is the one who goes on the rampage. Xmithy finally gets a death before the game ends. 23-20, CLG. Looks like they may be forced to retreat here. He's trying to bob and weave these bullets in between these guys. Makes It makes you leap, so. It was uh, something. OK, Phoenix One in a spot where it's do or die. And CLG is not looking like they're going to let him do much of anything. Zig going to be targeted first. Tempered Fate finds its way onto him. Stix ain't going to be eating the Syndra ultimate. Darshan making sure Zig is down. Ryu still trying to keep these guys off if he can, but Xmithy is on the hunt. Ooh. Meteos has already fallen. Arrow trying to fire off the bullets. What does it matter? Ladies and gentlemen, 26 minutes, and we're going to game number three. 20 to four in kills. It looked a lot like the last game, but the other one. A lot of fun to see who he, pretty much the player for Aurelian Soul. This and is going to be a lot of fun to watch. And it looks like it's a little bit of a change up there, too, because Jace. Going for Huhi here. Shock, Pop the ulti. Shockwave going to be used. Huhi having to walk away from this one. Meteos in hot pursuit. Remember, no summoner spells for this dragon. And Meteos grabs first blood. First blood again for Meteos. Now he's going to run into the jungle and is extreme. He has flash again. Huhi wearing away. Darshan does have the ability to get out of this one potentially. Oh. Equalizer still going to be landing. Meteos looking to make the move. Flash oh. over the wall. Finds the jump. And Six grabbing kill number two for Phoenix One. Meteos with a flash over the wall. In after you come out of that, and look at that, hitting Huhi, but not hitting Huhi. Hits Afro, but doesn't matter. Huhi getting himself away for now. The exhaust going to be used onto Zig. Ryu grabbing the kill on Afro. Huhi trying to keep himself alive. Both summoner spells expended. Afro move grabbing the kill onto Zig. Meteos grabbing the kill onto Huhi in retaliation. One for the 
Echo popped up as one as well that people were trying out. Hold on, Zig, though. Doesn't have a multi for a few seconds. There we go. Yeah, up now. All right, we're going to make it happen. Equalizer on the escape route. Darshan going to be eating multiple turret shots, but not enough to make it a one for one. At the same time, though, on the other end of the map, first turret. You're saying it's scary? And there they go. There comes the fear itself. Afromu trying to get himself away, but it's not going to be doing anything. The arrow going to be going a little bit wide right. They don't make it a double, but they at least... Looking for Ryu. Smithy and Huhi want to make the play. Ryu's going to be stunned up into Chain CC. Voice of Light decrees his death, and Huhi's going to grab kill number three for his team. Hey, they got the Cloud Drake, though. Got the... <laughs> available means CLG does not want to fight in these small corridors. And so they're looking for the engage. There's the arrow. Arrow comes out, finds its way onto Aframu. There comes so much Wombo with the combo. Zig grabbing the kill onto that one. Who he gonna be forced to flash away from the bubble? Next one showing the power of the team working together like that. Stixay now looking to make the moves onto Arrow. Darshan and who he want him to. And Stixay grabs a kill credit. The Voice of Light would have been cutting him off no matter what. And now the push comes for CLG here in the mid lane. Looking to take down this tier one, get themselves an objective advantage in that department if they can. Adrian going to be tossing some bubbles at these guys, but to no avail. There comes your cocoon. Here comes the Winter's Bite. Adrian hangs around too long, and he's going to be punished for it. Yeah, when you use five ultimates to catch half of the 20 minute area of that clock, so he'll have the Mermana done at that point. He can do that much more damage with that bonus passive. Oh, until then, they gotta keep waiting on as the fight breaks out. Still looking to make something happen. Stixay grabbing the kill onto Meteos. Arrow backing himself away. There comes the damage. Accelerated Shock Blast finds that one. Aframu having to jump back. Who he still wants more. Equalizer comes down from a long way away. Grabbing the kill onto Aframu. Smithy may be in some trouble here. Electro Harpoons and fires ah! over the wall. Ryu grabbing the kill onto him. Two for two when the dust settles. That's how you do it. When spiders up against the wall, you just burn them. <laughs> anything with it. Look at behind Smithy in the Boom. jungle and just delete him off the face of the world. That is There's still a the bar for the tier one still there. Video has no choice but to turn around and try to fight it. Exhaust gonna be used. Ah. But Dixie is too close and they can't find the damage. Adrian now having to run for his own. Comes out, hits onto CLG members. Who he forced to flash away as Darshan is just dismantling things bottom lane. They have left him there way too long. Yeah, that was the gamble from P1. They said, we're going to start up the Baron because we can't get rid of this Darshan on the bottom side. Jace takes two turrets, gets the inhibitor. Mid lane was shoved in by Sticks. Guards, we've seen Dead oh. Man's Plate. That's not going to be Got it. it. Who he stunned up. The bubble comes in. The follow up CC is down. Shockwave finding its way onto Aframu. Who he's still barely alive. A killing spree for Zig. Darshan comes in behind these guys, but he's not able to find anything just yet. P1 is still moving as a unit. They've got a five versus four for the next 25 seconds. Now, I don't know if they'll be able to rely on the teleport to get in if he was going to split. And now they're at kind of the mercy. Aframu, they're gonna try to go through him again. They're always finding Aframu. It takes so much effort to kill him though, but they've got what they came for. Who he gonna be target number two? That's a big one. That's the one you can walk away feeling good about himself away for now. Adrian still in hot pursuit. Exhaust gonna be used, and the spider gets squished. Medios grabbing the kill. But now they're coming back. CLG. Might be in a spot where they could potentially do something. Another arrow! They're going to be using the TP. Arrow onto Aframu. P1 still looking to fight this, but Stix is able to find the damage. Darshan going to be dropping next. Who he's got that star. Meteos having to get himself away. Adrian going to be taken down. Stix is finding all the damage. Double kill onto the Ash. Still looking for more damage. Sig going to be run down next. And P1 is all but ace. What are you doing, P1? They go through the batting Look order. that delivery! Shut down, Stixay! Medios a little early with the W there. Doesn't get out of the seat. Seems to be on one in this game right now. Like Smithy going to be taken low. Repels up to stay alive, but his Guardian Angel is going to be popped. He's in a spot where his team can protect Whoa. him for now, but Medios is able to grab the burst. There Shockwave. comes the damage over the wall. Shockwave, one of the carries. Stixay and Darshan able to grab the kill on the Medios. Zig to the side. Stixay cashing in again. Aframu going to be killed by Arrow, who's now stunned up. The damage comes through, but he's not going to be he going down. Who he commits suicide. Darshan's looking for more. Arrow's going to be killed. Real Stixay. On both sides. The showdown that may decide the fight. Stixay looking to back away with the Baron empowered recall. Arcane shift over the wall. Trying to find some opportunity here. Going for inhib. He's, he's vamping up off of the minions. 
The red buff keeping him healthy. He's gonna Woo! grab this inhibitor, keep himself alive. Ryu still looking to chase it down. Arc Five here comes in behind Meteos, drops the stun. Meteos does not have the resources to cleanse that CC. The equalizer is gonna be dropped next. Afro Moo looking to soak the turret, provide that tankiness to keep who he alive. Ryu's gonna be cut down. Stick Zig grabbing the damage. Afro Moo's gonna be shut down by Zig, but Darshan has the revenge kill. Four for one for CLG. Stick saying who he completely in sync there, playing so well this game. Who he has such a mastery of this champion, the zoning potential, using it to its fullest. Honestly, they're gonna end the game here. They're gonna try to plow right through Arrow, who's desperately trying to clear out this minion. Arrow is 1v4 for the next 20 seconds. There is no way to defend. And ladies and gentlemen, in game number three, 38 minutes in, CLG has earned their win over Phoenix One. And that's gonna be CLG 2-0 as a tiebreaker. What a phenomenal spot to be in. And you couldn't have said that you wanted a better game for game number three after the performances in one and two.